r slash ask reddit what do you know that your ex's current significant other doesn't how she was relentless in contacting me for 12 months following our breakup despite her starting to date this guy weeks after we broke up that he creates random email accounts to message me his weird rants I'm not sure if she knows either, but her mom texts me every now and then asking me about my life and letting me know she missed the best catch of her life or mayo. Apparently she's with some deadbeat now that could barely afford to support his kids and is milking her for money. That we made over 100 sex tapes together, all for private use, we both traveled for work and would film before we went away to have something for lonely nights in the hotel. I deleted the ones I had, no idea if she deleted hers. In college I briefly dated a girl who eventually cheated on me with a guy, whom she later went on to marry. He was a little bit older than we were, which will be relevant later. Anyway, our relationship was still in its infancy at that point, so I just moved on with my life once I found out about the cheating. No big deal, really. That is, of course, until about 4 months later, when I learned that the guy she cheated on me with was the older brother of another girl who had been a casual hookup of mine a year or so before all of this. So, the thing I know that my ex's current SO probably doesn't know is that I've dropped about two dozen facials on his little sister. That before she killed herself she sent me a message on Facebook that I will always be her first and best love. I hadn't seen her in 27 years, and she was married with 3 kids. I of course showed my wife this, and didn't know she had killed herself, until my wife stalked her Facebook profile. She was a wonderful girl and I have nothing but fond memories about her. I did leave her for my wife. I feel bad for the husband and kids, although I know nothing of their dynamics together. Her husband was her ex from, before we got together. Sad any way you look at it. We broke up. Because I didn't want kids, probably shouldn't have ever dated, but we had a fun time. She called me right around the ball drop on New Year's, and told me she will always love me. They had been dating for a while and now have a kid. That he's probably still meeting other women online. You are never the only woman in his life. He's a really good liar. Her husband thought she was a virgin, but we had a ton of sex for years. She begged me not to tell anybody when they first started dating, but everyone else in our lives knew. I'm not sure if she ever told him. It will take 12 months for you to see behind the act, followed by 2 weeks of self-sabotage in an attempt to shift the narrative from liar to victim, followed by 1 week of scorched earth as you try and extract yourself from the situation. Once you are completely free, you will come to me looking for answers, just as I did. Just as the one before me, and the one before them, and on it goes. That she dumped me an hour before their first date, so she was single, when they went out. That their dad isn't really their dad, my ex doesn't even know that. Somehow I do though. Wait this one is interesting, how do you know and she doesn't? My cousin was working at the state park last summer, and my ex's stepmom worked there. My cousin was really good friends with my ex too. Unprovoked, she just told my cousin that their dad isn't actually their dad. She asked if they had any plans on telling my ex, and she simply said no. That she's a woman dating another woman, still sleeping with men on Craigslist for money. No judgment to do it, but doing it behind your partner's back for 3 years claiming to be a lesbian is kinda a shitty thing to do Yano. With her current partner for a year now, and she still has no idea. Edit. Okay so I should have worded that last part differently. My ex's family and friends were told about it with proof, but they don't believe it. I have reached out to her partner multiple times. I get a duck you and blocked. I can only try so much. After I told her family, she put all of my clothes in garbage bags and poured bleach on them. Cut my neck open with keys when I tried to leave. Stole my cat after I moved out, sold her and I haven't seen her since. Police were involved towards the end and I had a PFA against her. I always want to try and help or protect someone as much as I can, which I have tried to do so, but mentally I have to protect myself and not let anything that has to do with her exist in my life. How much she loved doing drugs before she settled down. 
Also how wild she went after she broke up with her first live-in partner like a decade after we dated. We are still friends and I helped the two of them move last year. She's a good mom with a good straight head dude as a husband. The younger version of her would have been a terrible fit for him. That she's wearing what was my engagement ring. They are now married. She's also wearing the wedding ring that came as part of the set. We have kids together. So I'm still very much involved in their life. They are both pretty fiery, so I know all hell would break loose if she ever found out that he didn't even bother proposing with a ring he picked just for her. Imagine how that would feel as a woman. Genuinely makes me feel awful every one I think about it, so I'll never tell. He ducked his male best friend and treats him like utter shit in front of everyone so nobody thinks he's gay. Also his hour long bubble baths with his laptop are so he can flirt with other girls on discord. All his online friends have seen his dick. You are not crazy girl. He is gaslighting you, cheating on you, and lying to you. Run. That he's bisexual. She may know that. And he's still hooking up with random men he meets online. When he and I were together we had a junk email we used more or less as a throwaway account. And every once in a while I have to log into it for something. And I see all the messages. I'm pretty sure he's bare backing too. And he's obviously not taking prep. Because that would be a giveaway. I feel bad for her. But he's literally a psychopath and I would never do anything to put myself in his sphere again. That's probably a lot of other stuff. But that one I know for sure. He married her, and he'd leave her, if I took him back. He was with me for 10 years, 3 kids, owned a home, the whole thing. I left because he's a pathological liar, a narcissist, and after I left I found out he was cheating on me with her, and multiple other women for years. The same week I moved out, she had moved in with him. He would beg me to get back together with him, beg to go to couples therapy, he told me she was just there to help with the kids when it was his days to have them and that she meant nothing to him. They got engaged 3 months after I left him, married 6 months later and now coming up on their 1 year marriage anniversary next month, he recently told me it's been hard adjusting to someone new after being so happy for 10 years and that he would go back to the way things were in a heartbeat if I would let him. I obviously said no and was disgusted he would even offer it up. It almost felt like I should tell her she's such a sweetheart, a nurse at a kid's hospital, we have chatted tons during the kid's sports and if it weren't for the situation we'd probably be friends. But she's been a great co-parent and stepmom to my kids when they are at his house, so I'm gonna keep my mouth shut for the kids sake. That she still runs to me with every problem she has which now I know everything about him now. Also I have a panty fetish and whenever I see her she will take off her panties and give them to me because she finds it hot. She is a master of manipulating every situation to play the victim. The big one is that she wanted to have kids more than I did. To the point that I remember sitting in my car nearly in tears because she basically said, if you don't give me kids, I'll find someone who will. We'd been together for years and I was starting to lose faith in the future of the world and worried about how those kids would be, but this was the shove I needed to do it. Fast forward to 2020, we separate at Christmas, and I find out she's telling everyone I forced them on her, she never wanted them, that she had them, because she was a dedicated wife. Whatever went on in her head, she up and left to America, to be with this new guy. Her visa also expired before the date we could legally divorce in Australia, so there was that too. Oh, and the, at least, four other men she was setting herself up to move in with because of the deep love she felt for each of them. Don't think he knows about them either. That he threw a fit and stormed out of a concert we both happened to be at because he saw me kiss my now husband. He also loudly told me and everyone else who would listen how he became an alcoholic after we broke up because he was so heartbroken about what I, meaning me, did. For context, we'd been broken up for years at this point. He was married to the woman he left me for, and he broke up with me. No idea if my ex is with anyone now, but I'm guessing that I'm the only one that is aware that she purposely left a letter out for her husband to find to become upset and tip him over the edge to commit suicide. She came back with the kids to find he had shot himself in the shower, so the plan worked, but she didn't think through the emotional suffering for herself and the kids. 
she's crazy. Faked a pregnancy when we broke up to try to stay together. I called her on it and said let's get tested to be sure. When she realized that wasn't going to work, she told me she got a DNC the next day and mocked up hospital bills to try and get me to pay her $3,000 for it. She also called my work and tried to get me fired. But, shit, crazy. That their first kid is my kid. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.